What's going on guys, Harry here. Welcome to the sixth episode of this powerlifting prep series. This is the second half of week three of the first four week block leading into my next powerlifting meet. So this is currently like five and a half weeks out. So really starting to kind of like build momentum with my training I'm feeling. This was my squat strength day. So this was my third time squatting this week and everything still is moving really well. This was 390 pounds for three sets of four reps. <clears throat> Probably the best my form has ever looked really at this weight and just trying to keep my form consistent no matter what type of weight I'm lifting. So obviously my hypertrophy and strength days that I did earlier this week are a, lo a little bit lighter than this, maybe about like 10%. But just trying to keep my form much more consistent, doing that through my even my setup here. That's why I kind of leave these clips a little bit longer so you can kind of see my routine when it comes to getting under the bar and then also setting up and getting ready to start the first rep. So really just trying to keep all that consistent. Think about the same cues no matter, no matter what weight. Even on my warm-ups, I really try to focus on just kind of being doing everything 100% the same no matter what type of weight is on the bar. It's really been helping me lately. A question that someone asked me in the previous video that I could talk about for a little bit on one of these videos is my body weight and nutrition and stuff. So as you guys know, I'm competing in a USAPL meet. So the weight classes are a little bit different than regular powerlifting or other powerlifting federations, I should say. So this uh, weight class is 93 kilograms or 205 pounds. Right now I'm sitting around like 208, 209 and maybe like 210 on a heavy day. That's pretty much exactly where I want to be just so that I can cut some water weight leading into the meat. But since it's a two hour weigh in, I don't want to have to cut too much water weight just because it might impact performance. And again, I only have two hours to kind of refuel and I don't want to be like bloated as I go to lift, especially since I'm used to training fasted right now. I really only have I don't eat anything most mornings. And if anything, I'll have like a banana or something or a scoop of whey. So my stomach is usually pretty empty for these training sessions, but that's what enables me to feel best, I've found. Okay, so moving on to bench press, this was the hypertrophy day. So same sets and reps as my squat day earlier in the week, the hypertrophy squat day. This was six sets of five at 70 or 80. I don't remember what the percentage was, but it was pretty moderate, I'd say. Probably about 80% in here and everything moved really well i was happy with it recorded the first third and fifth set and really no complaints bench press has been feeling really good set up and everything like i said about my squats just trying to keep everything consistent and really happy with the way that everything is moving i still really haven't found any way to get any real active leg drive on my bench press as you guys know as i've been mentioning I really just keep my lower body as tight as possible, especially in my glutes and hamstrings and even quads, just kind of contracting all those muscles isometrically in order to maximize the stability in my lower body, but not really doing any like hip thrusting in order to kind of transfer a little bit more power into the bar. Still feeling strong. I know that I probably could get a little bit more weight on my bench press if I do find out a way to get some leg drive into the bar but right now I'm really happy with the progress I've been making and to be honest I'm really just happy about my squats and that's going to be a huge like accomplishment for me I feel leading into this meet if I can really hit like a pretty big meet PR on that so really squats are like feeling so good right now that so much better than they've ever felt before that I'm just happy to kind of progress a good amount on one lift and not saying I don't want to progress on my squat and or on my bench press and my deadlift, but really happy with my squat and just want to do whatever I can to bring that up since, especially compared to my deadlift, at the last minute I hit 573. I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous video, but it's just such a huge discrepancy between my squat and deadlift. And I really feel that if I kind of make that gap a little bit smaller, then it'll really bring up my total a lot more than putting just a little bit of weight on my deadlift. So here's the last training day of the week. This was my deadlift strength day. This was 485 for six sets of one, taking about 60 to 70 seconds. I think the 
Rest period was about 60 to 90 seconds, but I kept it towards the lower end. Really happy with the way that these are moving. I was a little bit like fatigued going into this workout, but nothing too like I was able to get through it. Just my lower back was a little bit sore, I guess, from the squat strength day the day before. But again, really happy with the way that these moved. Taking a little bit longer on my setup just to get my hips and lower back into a better position. But other than that, everything is moving smooth there. Last compound movement or main movement for the week was bench press power. So this was pretty easy. Six sets of two at about 77%. And I think it was 225 pounds. This first set I misloaded the bar and put 245 on. But everything moved really fast and just happy about that. Okay, so going back to my nutrition and everything that I was talking about before. Current macros, I'm like actually tracking macros pretty specifically. Just trying to hit specific numbers at the end of the day, which I haven't done in a while. So right now I'm going for 80 grams of fat, 400 carbs, and 200 to 225 grams of protein. So that puts my calories right around 3,200 and been feeling good maintaining my weight pretty much exactly what it is right now a little bit of fluctuation depending on like what i eat and everything but nothing too crazy again i don't want to gain too much weight and have to cut too much water going into the meat because it's only a two hour weigh-in so i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave some more topics that you want to hear me to talk about in comments and we'll see you in the next one these bots have never really felt this good or really looked this good i don't think in the past so just really